Remember that time I said I'd try and be making videos on YouTube more often? Yeah, that didn't happen. So, I'm making videos as much as I can, no promises and stuff. But this video is going to be about MLB playoff analysis so far. Um, I'll start with Dodgers, but this is going to be the NL version. I tried doing every single one last time, just went too long, and there was an error occurring, and it just I decided to restart. So first of all, I got a new PayPal because my other one got messed up. So uh, I'll leave it in the description below, but it's Heisenberg622, Breaking Bad reference for those of you who get it. Awesome. For those of you who don't, watch the show now. I don't know what you're doing with your lives. Um, so there's that. And so I'm going to analyze first the Dodgers and Brave series. Uh, again, I'll leave the PayPal in the description below. Just I don't know why it's really relevant right now. No one's paying me anything. Um, but just for future reference, I'll put it in future uh, videos where I need money and stuff like that. Um, but for now, uh, playoff analysis, Dodgers-Braves. Don Mattingly is a very lucky man. He should not have his job right now. That's my opinion. And that is most likely fact because uh, the Dodgers, he decided to start Kershaw last night on three days rest. It is the shortest amount of rest between starts Kershaw has ever had in his career during the playoffs against the Braves offense. Um... He wasn't incredibly sharp. He was decent. He uh, gave up two runs in six innings, but he only lasted six innings. That's the problem. He went 90 pitches, 91 pitches in six innings. Um, healthy Kershaw could have gone seven innings or eight innings, definitely, with 110 pitches. or got on full rest. Um, they just should have pitched Velasco. That's my opinion. They were supposed to pitch him last night. He did not pitch. Uh, they won because of Juan Uribe, obviously, but that was just pure luck. Um, and had it played out like it was going to, where uh, the Dodgers' bullpen, Ronald Belisario, blows it the seventh. Uh, Braves take a 4-3 lead. Uh, if it stays that way, then, uh, like it should, uh, they would go back to Atlanta for game five. Uh, the Dodgers would face uh, Chris Medlin on full rest in Atlanta, the best home team in baseball. Uh, the Dodgers have Zach Grinke going, who is good, but the Braves would have a little momentum. You don't want Grinke pitching in game five because he's a little stress and tension issues. Uh, he has a lot of psychological problems. I mean, he's a good guy. He's a great pitcher, don't get me wrong. But decisive game five isn't... He's not the guy you want on the mound. You want Kershaw on the mound. Um, yes, why you go with Nolasco last night. Uh, and obviously, Mattingly's decision didn't look like it was going to work until David Carpenter serves up a two-run bomb to Juan Uribe in the bottom of the eighth, which you cannot rely on because Juan Uribe swings at everything and David Carpenter hung a curveball over the plate. That is that. Um... What else? Yeah, Kirsch would have been, or Mattingly would have been gone. His managerial skills were in question. Beginning of the season, the Dodgers didn't, weren't very good. Puig came up. Obviously, that all turned around, and here they are today. Mattingly, everyone forgets Mattingly was this close to getting fired back in early June. Um, he really was. Like, uh, it was, he was days away from getting fired, and Puig got called up. Um, what else? Up, oh, Dodgers should be better off for the, AL, the NLCS. Uh, Andre Ethier will be healthy for that. He'll be playing center field. They don't have to rely on Skip Schumacher for center field. They don't have Matt Kemp on the playoff roster. Um, that'll leave Crawford in left, Puig in right. Uh, and so Adrian Gonzalez at first, Mark Ellis at second, Hanley Ramirez at short, Juan Uribe at third, AJ Ellis at catcher, and pitching, whoever. And then they'll have Schumacher and Puntel for utility roles. Um, yeah. And the Dodgers, the key for the ALCS for them is they need to have quality starts from their starting pitchers. Their bullpen is still the weakest part of their game. Um, yeah, they need guys to go into the seventh, eighth innings consistently. They can't have a guy last five innings um, and give up three or four runs. Their bullpen is not going to hold it together. Brian Wilson, what is your hair? Like, your beard now has like a rubber band. It's down to here. Your hair is like a mohawk. I don't even know what's going on. And it's just a Keith Olbermann had a quote last night. Brian Wilson, tomorrow after the after the game, he'll be going back to his day job as the executioner at the Renaissance Fair. And never have I heard a more accurate statement said by Keith Olbermann. Exactly. So their bullpen just is a mess. Um, besides Kelly Jansen, of course. But uh, if you they bring in Brandon Lee, I mean, that's, that's just a guaranteed one or two runs right there easily. Um, okay, so that's that. Braves are done. Dodgers advance. We'll go to Pirates Cardinals now. Uh, next game five is tomorrow at about five o'clock Pacific time. Uh, so you can do the math, figure out where you live. It'll be Garrett Cole, who's ten and seven with a three two two ERA, and 
Adam Wainwright, who I believe is 19 to 9 with a 2.94 ERA. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so that'll be a good matchup. It'll be in St. Louis because uh, they won the NL Central. Um, yeah, uh, let's see what can I talk about. Michael Waka yesterday, uh, that no hitter into the eighth inning. Very, very solid start, obviously. No walks, nine strikeouts. Uh, retired his first 15 batters. Very, very impressive. Um, okay, I'll go keys to the game. Uh, or I'll go keys to the game and keys to the series. Keys to the game for the Pirates. Offense. Well, that's the basic one, but they need their, they need their um, mid-level players to show up. So guys like Starling Marte, um, Justin Morneau, Marlon Bird, they need to show up to play. They can't just be Alvarez and McCutcheon like it has been lately. Uh, they need some production from Tabata, maybe. Uh, Russell Martin. Uh, they need production from the entire lineup. Uh, Adam Wainwright's got the sinker, which is a deadly weapon. Um, they can't just have McCutcheon and uh, Alvarez the only ones doing anything. Uh, they won't win that way. Garrett Cole is very solid, but he's still a rookie, and you can't trust him completely in Game 5 of the series. Had Francis if Francisco Liriano were on a full rest, I would consider starting him. Not A.J. Burnett, though. A.J. Burnett is a head case. It's in his mind that he can't pitch well in the playoffs. He never has in any team he's been on. When the Blue Jays, I don't know if you know him, but the playoffs the Blue Jays, but he was terrible when he was playoffs the game. Terrible when he made the playoffs the Yankees. Just awful. And what, eight inning, eight runs in three and a third, three and two thirds? I don't even know. It's bad. Um, he won't be starting... Uh, they decided to forego Burnett in the rotation to go with Garrett Cole. Um, yeah, I mean, I would consider Liriano, but obviously Clint Hurdle's not going to do that at this point. Um, so, yes, okay. Cardinals, keys to the game. Their keys to the game will be their bullpen. They have a very good bullpen, um, and obviously it's not, as good as the Car- it's not as good as the Pirates, but their bullpen needs to come to play. Um, they had Mujica struggle down the stretch. Uh, Mujica needs to step up into a huge role. I don't even know if he's closing anymore, but if he is still the closer, it might be Trevor, Ro- Trevor Rosenthal at this point or uh, Carlos Martinez. Um, I think they removed him from the closer role, actually. I'm fairly certain they did. So their bullpen did struggle on the stretch. Uh, it was anchored by Mujica, and he just did not impress anyone. Um, yeah, he is on the he is on the roster. He had some serious September struggles. Um, Here's the closer currently. I'm not sure. I'm going to go with Rosenthal, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Um, so those are their keys. They did struggle in September, especially Mujica. Um, I think Wainwright can put them in a serious position to get the win. And if they can hold out with their bullpen in the 7th, 8th, or maybe even the 8th, ninth, and maybe even 7th innings, um, I believe the Cardinals can win. So those are my keys. Uh, major problems each team faces. Obviously, the Garrett Cole, you don't, he's a question mark for the Pirates. Uh, you don't know how he's going to perform as a rookie. You can get you can expect a consistent outing from Adam Wainwright. He's been here before. He can perform under pressure. Garrett Cole really hasn't had to uh, do that yet in his career. So this will be a huge uh, turning point for him if he can do well. Um, for the Cardinals, it will be the loss of Alan Craig. Say what you will, I think he's the best player on that team offensively, or batting or pitching-wise. Um, some people might argue Matt Carpenter, Carlos Beltran, Adam Wainwright. I will say it's Alan Craig, just because he actually had one of the highest batting average runners in scoring position this season, which is huge. He was always converting those guys from second and third. He was always bringing those guys from second and third home. Um, one of the highest in the league. So, I mean, that's a huge key. That's a huge loss. Matt, Matt Adams is a capable replacement, but he's just no Alan Craig. So, that is my analysis of the NL. I will do my AL later. Um, if you like to listen to me, I really do feel like I'm knowledgeable of baseball. Um, knowledgeable. Uh, I'm probably sure there are some of you out there who uh, know more, but I really do feel like I know what I'm saying. So you guys can ask me for advice, fantasy especially. I'm good at that. I don't know if I'm going on this football right now, but I'm undefeated in my league. I'm 4 0 1. So uh, second place out of 12 teams. So I think I definitely have some clue in sports, uh, football, or baseball. I can try with basketball, but I won't be as good. Uh, so yeah, that's about all I have to say. And this video is approaching 10 minutes, so if you do stay to watch it, uh, then I'm going to have a very mini giveaway. This is, I want to see how many people do this. 
uh, just watch this video to the end. So, comment. I'm not gonna say anything in the description box. Um, comment down below. Um, comment down below what you think my middle name is. Doesn't have to be right, but just any middle name. What you think it is. And if you comment a middle name, you'll be entered into a contest that'll end like Friday night or something like that. Uh, this is just a secret thing. I just want to see how many people actually watch my video at the end. Um, it'll be like a minor card or something like that. It won't be huge, but it'll be like five, ten dollars. So, just yeah, I want to see. It's, I'm curious. That's all. So just yeah, call my middle name, and you will receive a spot in a free prize. Thank you. Goodbye.